on another project but my last project turned out great see the seal I have all the way around underneath the house they don't even do that in new houses all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start doing the uh, spring uh, one thing about DIY is people uh, I mean it's about doing you know it's about getting out and doing something getting something done not just having a project or an idea What's up, what's up? Uh, this is my channel, Dazzle You Does DIY. And I have another great project. Uh, first of all, we're gonna be doing, guess what? Spring. But I'll let you take out some of my other projects and I'll give you some helpful tips. Uh, I have three helpful tips about ortho and bug spring that you probably didn't even know. All right, so uh, the first tip is ortho is a little bit stronger is you just want to spray a layer around the house about six inches off the ground and then a layer around the top of the house to keep the spiders and everything else in a lot of people over spray in one area it makes it real hot like in work and other places and you can smell it now cockroaches smell like that bug spray smells like that too it gets really hot and other things so you don't want to over spray you just want to go six inches the other thing is the spray bottles. Uh, I found out that the local Ace is a lot cheaper. That Home Depot has gotten really, really expensive. And Raid has come in so many different bottles and sizes. You want to find a good gallon size. And they come up with all kinds of sprayers and connectors. <clears throat> the tip is on um, Ortho is they do not want this cap to be tampered with at all. It is the number one rule on the back that un they even say in the instructions that if you even remove the caps so what they do is they keep the caps on there <clears throat> and then when you're done some of them <clears throat> have recycling signs on the back but some of them do not if it does not have a recycling sign this one does not then throw away but what you need to do is you just simply fill it back up with water and that will be enough bug spray left in the bottle to do the perimeter around your fences. So three tips is you don't want to tamper with the top. You want to fill it back up with water. And you want to spray six inches off the ground. Now I had an interesting project. I was like, should I choose the ortho or should I choose the cock? You know, like which one is it? So I'm going to go ahead and bring you in. To, uh... So those three tips alone, right? So... You don't tamper with the top, you fill it back up with water, enough to do the perimeter, and you spray six inches off the ground. But my other projects turned out pretty good too. I just did a rust oleum project. This was a red chair. I spray painted two of them. And this one too, the, um, I made the video, but somebody erased it off my phone or something. But I did enough of the gloss <clears throat> and the enamel to spray the entire bench and to make it look nice and black. Now on this homeowner here, I'll show you a couple of tips real quick. Um, you see these uh, lightning rods? They have stuck um, metal rods here, 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 and there. And they want to plant more around the house right underneath the eaves where there's lots of lightning. I can't argue with them about that. I gave them a helpful tip, but that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. They want to put lightning rods around the house. I don't think it's a good idea. I would stay away from putting metal poles around houses during lightning. All right, so <clears throat> my next helpful tip is going to have to go into the world of using caulking. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. And, uh, When we're doing the cock, I was, a, I was able to find this. But um, my last two, project um, turned out great. See the seal I have all the way around underneath the house? They don't even do that in new houses. They just put on the vinyl. They put on popcorn ceiling. They throw you um, old shelves, old blinds, old things. And if you do want to upgrade, they charge you thousands of dollars for a closet or a, <clears throat> a roof or recessed lightning lighting whatever 
So um, the project would be to go ahead and seal up the rest. So the choice would be, well, was it more important? And here's another project too. You see these, um, we can put other screens over there and ventilations. They actually have attic ventilation things that look like little curd pieces of uh, PVC and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna get into the spraying here. All we have to do is um, find a good area and we just start spraying about six inches off the ground and then also six inches above or right below the eave. You can also spray those as well. Now as you can see these lightning rods aren't very good but um, these are some really good uh, DIY projects I have done. I spray painted two benches, caulked around the side, refilled it, got my safety glasses on, um, I got two chairs, a bench, the caulking, and like I mentioned, new houses. They're not even putting caulk around there. They're skimming out a lot of things. So you got to be aware of all these tips. Take care. This is Dazzle U Does DIY. All right, uh, this is uh, Dazzle U Does DIY. That's about getting out and doing things and getting your projects done. Um, we're going to go ahead and start spraying here. Six inches down, six inches around. Right here behind the plants. And all it takes is a simple little spray right down in here, around in there. You just want to form a little barrier. It's not that hard. And you just kind of go around. You always want to get underneath here, the doorstep. A few other places around the chimney and the door. In the clothing area. The laundry room is always really good. You tend to get a lot of nits up in those areas. This safety glasses I have on for sure. I'm just going to move on down. Secret is to keep moving and to get a good layer around certain areas. These lights, they get tons of bugs. So we're going to go ahead and try to hit those too. And that's basically it.